Hey everybody, it's Old School. Every once in a while, a cool product ends up into my hot little hands that I think is cool and I want people to know about it, so I do a review of it. So that's what we're doing here today. This is the T30, I'm sorry, TS35 mechanical keyboard made by Sadies, Sadez, or Sadez, or however you want to pronounce it, doesn't matter. It's awesome. So you're going to want to get something like this if you, um, Use mouse and keyboard on the couch. You want to play uh, first-person shooters on the couch, but having a full-size keyboard like this, uh, which takes up your entire lap desk, uh, you have to have somewhere for the mouse. And where do people usually put the mouse? They usually put it on a cushion next to them. And I don't care what anybody says. If, you, if you've convinced yourself that it doesn't suck, um, my hat's off to you because I could not... No matter how much I tried, I couldn't convince myself that it doesn't suck because I was doing terrible in every single game that I played and it, it wasn't comfortable. It, it, it was terrible. So I needed a solution. So I, I had this I had this lap desk here, but um, that's only half the battle, obviously. So what do you, what do, you do? You need, you need mouse space. So what you do is you chop the keyboard in about a third of the size of a regular keyboard. And so you have all the keys that you need and nothing you don't. And so um, I picked this particular I picked this particular one up because it's a backlit and it's mechanical. It's completely mechanical. It's uh, it has uh, MX Blue switches. So if you hear that click, um, that's that's typical MX Blue there. And uh, I thought that was going to bother me, but once I got it and I started um, gaming at, at a uh, proper volume, which is moderate to loud, um, I didn't even hear it. And uh, the keys feel great. It's a fantastic feeling keyboard. And um, as you can see, you've got a nice wrist rest here. And on the bottom, you've got rubber feet to uh, really keep it in place. And once you put your wrist on it, it ain't going anywhere. And uh, let me tell you, it this thing feels wonderful. I I, I can't I couldn't be happier. All of a sudden now, uh, uh, mouse and keyboard gaming on the couch is no longer it, it, it's it's no longer in the way it's like I'm sitting at the desk again that's that's how good this thing is and I mean it's not really doing anything special but I mean it's it's small it's mechanical and it's also backlit and so let's turn off the lights so we can check this out here now this may turn some people off but let me let's get in a little closer here bring this uh, up bring this down so this may turn some people off that this is the only color scheme that you're gonna have you can't change the colors around uh, it's it's always gonna be red here orange here blue there you, you get the idea you you can't make it one solid color uh, you that, that's that this this is what you get so if you can't handle that again this <laughs> this device is not for you but what you do get is different light patterns so uh, you hold down the function key and then hit escape to to start toggling through them. As you can see, we've got a breathing uh, animation there, which I actually like, and that's the one that I use because um, it, it uh, as you can see, the lights the lights are only off for like a fraction of a second. So I can always see it, and I think it looks cool. But then you have uh, patterns like these, which... I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. And then you have this next pattern, which is just the opposite. It's going up. And I'm like, what am I supposed to use this for? And this one is the coolest looking out of all of them. But, man, it's it's useless to me. But I guess I guess if you want to impress your friends... Uh, I mean, I like looking at it. But uh, when, I'm, when I'm gaming, that's going to do nothing but... Uh, I mean, I want to see all the keys. That's the point of it being backlit. And then this one is again useless i don't know and and the next one is the same thing but it's just uh, kind of the same thing but it's just a, a breathing pattern and then you hit again it's off so it's going to be either this one or this one for me so you have a few other functions here where you can uh change change the speed of the animation so uh if you, if you press two while holding down the function key, as you can see, it slows down. You hit it again, it slows down a lot. And um, so there's only there's only uh, three 
There's only three levels, so that's the fastest. That's the slowest. You only get you only get um, three three speeds there. And so, just so you can get a better visual, let's go to one of the more use the useless ones. Slow it down, and that's what you got. Okay, so let's let's go back to on all the time. And then also, if you hold down the function key and press four, you will dim the keyboard. And then if you hit three, you'll brighten the keyboard. And again, you only have three steps here. There's nothing past uh, three steps. So one, two, three. One, two, three. And that's what you got. So pretty simple stuff. Let me turn the lights back on here. So as you can see, the lap desk, I've got plenty of space. Um, got the nice wrist rest here. It's, uh, I, I don't really know if I need to say any more than that. It's, it's, it's great. Again, you've got all the keys that you need, and you don't have a gigantic keyboard full of keys that you're not going to use, and then just take up space and then force this thing onto a couch cushion. It's the, the simplicity. It's, it's, it's mind-blowing to me. So... Um, I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope it answered some questions for you. If you're looking this thing up and you want to know what it's like, it's fantastic. It's it's got it's got great build quality. It's very responsive, um, very colorful as you can see, and um, very very simple to use. And uh, that's all I really have for you. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.